guys, it's me, Deja Sky from Frost Rag Race Season 14, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today's video, we are going to be doing a part two of me reviewing my audition tapes. Now, this is the first audition tape that I actually sent, and it's for season 12. So we're going to review it, we're going to see what has changed. Now keep in mind, I got on 14, so I sent in three audition tapes, so this is like the first real one. Hopefully it's more me, hopefully it's more I can see myself, not like that season seven atrociousness. But before we get started, please do not forget to compliment my makeup. Like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this me reviewing, or Deja viewing, my audition tape for season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Let's get into it. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. No, I'm not Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> that's very me. You guys, that's very me. So my philosophy with these audition tapes is I wanted to get them like right off the bat. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to get their attention immediately with like either my sense of humor or my personality or something. Oh, Whitney. Ah! <laughs> Mama mugged. Mugged. I do remember this was like my like big liner phase. You know, everyone went through that like raven huge liner phase. Still gorgeous. And I was wearing a breastplate here. Ha ha. Oh, so good. Work. Hey everybody, my name is Willie Redman, also known as Deja Sky. I'm 29 years old and I am from Fresno. I would have turned the video off right here. Hey everybody, my name is Willie Redman, also known as Deja. What? I'm not saying you have to scream, I'm not saying you have to do any of that stuff, but mama, where's the personality? But I love the look, this is very me. Red beret, I wore that red beret for my confessionals on 14, just saying, just saying. So Deja Sky, um, she's honestly just an extension of me. I don't really put okay. on a character. I mean, I do carry myself a little bit more up and I guess a little bit, an extra amount. I mean, true to this day, I feel like Willie, government name, I feel like Willie and Deja, to be honest, are kind of like the same. I just think I'm obviously more fabulous, but Deja is just an extension of Willie. That's how I've always treated it as. It's just an extra persona, an extra one of me. So the drag scene in my town, it's really not that big. We're kind of in the middle of everything, so. I can see myself Whenever I'm thinking, so when I'm organically talking, I'm very engaged, I'm talking to you, I'm directly at you. But when I'm like trying to be PC or thinking about what to say, like I just did, I look everywhere else. I kind of like dart or like, well, the drag scene in front. It's not that I'm not being truthful because I'm being honest. It's just I'm trying to think of what to say. And like uh, if someone was in the room with me, it probably would have been better because then I would have been engaged and been like, oh, Fresno, da, 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 da. Um, I definitely am very influential in my town. Facts. I'm definitely influential in my town. Facts. I feel like I've always been an extra layer of like someone to look up to or maybe someone to aspire to be maybe. Whether that be style, whether that be makeup, I don't mind that. I mean, that's the thing. You should always want to aspire to be better and there's nothing wrong with looking up to someone and I happen to be that person. Not to everyone, I'm not saying I was literally the end all be all of the Fresno drag scene. I'm not saying that. I just feel like I was one of the very inf influential queens. I've been doing drag for about eight years now. Eight years. So what am I on now? I'm on, oh my God. I'm going on like 12 or 13 years. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, my biggest accomplishment is I was actually Miss Gay Fresno 2018. Yes. Yes. Huge yes, Diva. Um, I was wow, also wow. So I was Miss Gay Fresno 2018. It was the only title. And so this is not a huge pageant like Continental. It was more or less for the IDC, which is the Imperial Dev System, like the court system in Fresno. It was just me and another girl who happens to be one of my best friends. Shout out to Gigi. Hi, Gigi. But it was great, you know? And I mean, I will always have that title. I think I still have the crown. A pageant and I won. I went against ah. 10 of the girls, sickening girls, and I won. Body. Oh! I've always thought I was special. I oh. always thought there was um, something different. Okay. I hate the makeup. The, the brows, what the f Love the look. 
Hate the makeup, hate the brow. This is when I started getting into the halo eye, like, so I didn't really have the placement for it. Hair's cute, outfit's cute, I made the outfit, the makeup, what the um, Something different about me, I had a different outlook and a different insight to drag and just... You know who I stole that line from? I stole this line from Raja. Not Raja O'Hara, Raja Gemini. I remember her in an interview, she was like, I've just, I just have a different outlook and a different... <laughs> stole her quote, oh my God. This is not a hobby for me. This literally is a- Also, why am I wearing one earring? Thinking that this side of my face, no one's gonna see. It's a dangly pink earring and I have nothing on that side. Mama. Honestly, there's not a form of drag I don't like. Drag is subjective. Drag is whatever the fuck you wanna make it. The only thing I can't stand about drag queens is late drag queens. Oh, drag oh, queens to this day? I cannot stand a late drag queen. I understand every drag performer is in their fantasies and their life. If you know you take a certain amount of time, allot yourself that amount of time. You are getting, especially if you're a rude girl, you are getting paid money. The least you could do is show up on time. Being on Drag Race will just be that next step to skyrocket my career. I want the world to know who I am. I want the world to fall in love with me. I'm a dream to work with. I'm extremely prof- T. I'm a dream to work with and I'm extremely professional, T. I may not be the most popular queen in the cut. I may not have a buku amount of bookings, okay? But when you book me, and this is for every promoter out there anywhere, but if you give me a chance and book me at your club, I am gonna show up on time, professional, nice to everyone, turn it out on stage, and you're gonna get the full package. Like, that's the T. Like, I wish promoters would not necessarily look at like numbers and look at like the talent and look at what I'm bringing to the table. So with that said, I really hope that you consider me for Drag Race. So with that said, I really, what is this pageant diva? You competed in one little tiny pageant. You're not a pageant diva. And I will see you soon, hopefully. Bye. <laughs> Y'all, if you're looking for well-rounded, Cute, okay, I ended on like a more me take. If you're looking for well-rounded, that's cute. I, I just wish I was that the whole time, gosh. I see potential in her. Okay, looks. Okay, fierce. Okay, keep in mind every single look I made. What the f Oh, cute, okay, this is my pastel Mad Hatter. Cute, love this. This is like a quintessential Deja look, it, like a performance look. Oh, fierce, okay. This was my gown that I won Miss Gay Fresno 2018 with. So now we're getting into my favorite lip sync. So on the audition tape, you do um, your favorite or like quintessential lip sync and then you do a RuPaul song. I believe this is still on my channel. This is production. I wanted to literally create like a music video-ish. Oh, silhouette. Damn. Hey. Transitiones, okay? Did you see how mama turned it? What is this hair? Love the makeup, hate the nose, and the hair. Costume, fierce. It was a Beyonce recreation from her, I believe, her Run the World tour. Sickening! Mama, I mean, I did this all myself. It was pretty c Like, I do remember a time where like my makeup, I was very carved. I did all this really dark, all that undercut, you know, and like, I love it. It's just, you move on, Mary, and you find new things. But I do still love this. Next is the RuPaul song. Love this look. Why am I wearing one glove? I don't know. This hair. We just talk about this hair. This hair was literally my favorite wig I owned for like two years. Where am I looking? I know I recorded this with my phone, so I think I was looking at myself on the phone rather than the camera, but I'm like, where am I looking? Cute. I feel like I'm having fun. I think I'm a little more laid back. Maybe this is like the fourth or fifth time I've, I've done this number. I'm not turning it. I am not turning it. Mama, I don't know. I haven't auditioned since season 14. Don't know if it's still the criteria, but you're supposed to give like your Runway walk. You can't see anything I'm doing, but work diva. Oh, my daddy Sergio. Mm. Work. 
I don't think it's a fierce walk, if I'm being honest. I don't think I'm a fierce walker, you guys. I'm just not. I'm not one of those Georgia's Naomi Smalls, Shea Coulee. I'm just not. Oh, Jesus. The time has come, you guys. Woo! I know this is not going to be good. I have no idea who I'm going to be, but I know it's not going to be gorgeous and flawless and a winner of Sanchez. Work! Patrick Star, hey diva. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Patrick Star. Patrick. Patrick no, no, Star. No, I know, I know. What? what? RuPaul has won so many awards. He's keeping them inside Michelle's blank. RuPaul, you have so many awards, but I guess if you were to hide them in Michelle's new Fix Plus by Patrick Star, only available at Mac. If you have awards, you would hide it in a Fix Plus. It wouldn't fit in a... I'm embarrassed. You can set your fears away and set your worries away and be fabulous and glam. <laughs> Was that it? No! Abby Girl. Lee Miller. Same question. Girl. RuPaul has... RuPaul, this is Abby Lee Miller. And I think that you need to take some dance classes. The rhythm has left your body. No, I'm speaking. RuPaul. Wh why did I think to interrupt RuPaul every single time? I would have been kicked out of Snatch Game. I don't care how many awards you've won. I believe Dance Studio has won more. Many more. Because of me. Because it's my studio. <laughs> more. Many more. Well, you guys, that was me, Deja, viewing my season 12 audition tape for RuPaul's Drag Race, season 12. And I just said season 12 twice in the same sentence. As always, you guys, comment below if you have any ideas for the channel. I'm always up for new concepts, videos that you would like to see. What videos do you love to see, like Deja Analysis, my Dusted by Deja? Is there something you've been wanting to see from me from a while besides talent? You know, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.